Yeah, yeah, right, right. And this is the, the classic letter. I could probably enlarge it. You can find your favorite signatures on here, but I will, and I'll see if it works here. I'll see if I can do this here because I'll show you a couple interesting things here. Um, so he got married, Joseph got married, and he was working at Picard at the time. And Chaloner was the checker champion. Marker was victim one. And what we <laughs> discovered there is that Curtis Marker was married earlier in the year. So that's what the story's with him. Uh, and then Tali, <coughs> yeah, Passoni Italiano, they had fun. Padla ha 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 man, you know. So it's always cool to look at this guy. Frank Niddle, the Feichin, that's German, I should know that. But uh, yes, Hessler was the architect, Poppy John Lowe. Both were not artists, we know Nessie was captain. Alexander did toilet sets. Um, and then there was somebody, I think I wrote an article about William Halsell. We finally found a piece by him. And Blazek, and Blazek was there. Emo Fisher, Fuchs, there's a signature of Fuchs. And Max Clippon, Fred Linder, Wabornik, all the big, all the big ones except the, and there's Gasper. You have to say Gasper's got to be there too, because he, um, Okay, so we'll go back down and we'll read. So the, Who is the violin version? Yeah. Where's the violin? That was Derswicki, Derswicki. And I think he was, he, he did, I think, didn't he do Violet's Derswicki or something? I, and all the, I think I saw some, I had to look in the book, but I think he's somebody found so by him. And it reads, you know, we the undersigned fellow employees of W.A. Picard Decorating Shop wish to extend our best wishes at the new life upon which you have just embarked, will have uh, no rough roads or nor thorny bushes, but uh, you know, it takes with all roses and honey with sincere wishes. So that was, you know, I don't you know. Like I say, my grandma was glad she saved this stuff, you know. So um, this is Frank. He was working in this job. That's Frank there. And uh, so he's carrying around. And he was actually in his draft card. He was listed as a clerk at the card. These are all done by Frank. So these are initial. Frank typically, when he did painted, and this is the only pattern I've come across in Picard that Frank did. F Y F Y, and this is F Y. -S. That's the only time I've ever seen him sign the whole thing. Uh, but Frank he ended up getting involved in etching, and his his hand painted China career was limited while he was at Picard. So here he is dipping things in the etching. You can see the asphalt on there. It's been uh, the, the China has been etched in this big vat. It's sitting here waiting to have all that poop cleaned off so that they can paint it. Um, so in later in life, so his father died in 1927. Frank decides to strike out on his own. So this is him painting China at uh, Ceramic Art and Craft, which was one of his businesses. Um, this is some of the China he did on his own. So this is unmarked, and obviously. And, and for a while there, he wasn't taking patterns from Picard. Uh, this is another piece by Frank Yashik again. Now it looks somewhat Picard-esque pattern, but um, it's not marked, Picard. And this is again Picard-esque. This is signed Frank, and it was handed down in the family. I think he gave it to my grandma for some event. Um, so he ended up, he wanted to strike out his own, and he decided now we're, we're going to be in LA next year. August Steiner, he was a, uh, he had a studio in Chicago and he wanted to move to sunny California. So he sold the studio and this is the Steiner family. And they're waving to my Aunt Marie and Aunt Ruth in the window. So they, they're going off to California. They sold their studio <coughs> to Frank Yeshik and he started Yeshik Incorporated. So from 1927 to 1931, um, there were two marks for Yeshik Incorporated. This is Yeshik Incorporated Ceramic Artists USA. And Yeshik Incorporated Chicago. So he had two marks. I would say that the Yeshik Incorporated Chicago is more common. He also had a paper label, similar, and he had numbers and he he he, he sort of imitated the card labels, except obviously there are nowhere near as many of them because there were no nowhere near as many Yeshik Incorporated pieces. And this is the set that, that was on the bottom of that. Yeah. And uh, so that went under during the Depression. He went up to the Northwoods to help his um, brother up in the Northwoods with the lodge, as did his dad. And uh, well, his dad actually was going, he had gone up there earlier. Uh, the last mark that uh, Joseph Yeshik appears on, I believe, is the 1925 to 30 mark. So 
goes back to Kisquan, he's lost his studio during the Depression, and uh, then he comes back to Chicago about 1940, and he starts Ceramic Art Craft Studio. I think he had inherited some money, was the story. And uh, this is the mark on Ceramic Art Craft. They also had a variation like Picard, which they used like on salt and peppers. And he ended up hiring some, this is Frank Niddle, and uh, this is uh, Carl Koenig, and this is uh, Hessler, Hessler. So he hired some of the people who did not go up to Antioch. And he made stuff, they did a lot of lamp bases, they, 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 they did more commercial type stuff. And they, they apparently had a distributor in New York who sent them the bases, they painted them. And then they he shook them back and they put lamps in them. Um, uh, from both Yeshik Incorporated and Ceramic Art Craft, he, he tended to use a different etching pattern. So this was sort of, this is pretty much on all of his overall gold pieces. They're like grape leaves and I'm guessing these are pineapples. Whatever it is, it's sort of cool, but it's different than anything Picard ever did. I've seen a couple of rows of daisies and of course with the, the sponge thing where you have the um, the um, just the, the map type from the, the etch pad. Um, these are examples of what Yeshik Incorporated produced. Um, a lot of service where they, not as much into the hand painted stuff because his forte was etching. Um, this is one place where he filched a Picard pattern. The base is a ceramic art craft face, and the platter is uh, a uh, Picard piece by Leach. Um, Okay, so we have to look at Frank's Frank's uh, Frank's uh, abode, and you see here. I'll point out a number. This is the wedding picture we saw earlier. I'm sure you all remember it. Uh, this is their new kid. This is like Marie. I think Marie and Ruth. They were uh, one of them died at 103 last year. And this is by, <coughs> this is by Gasper. This is an Prey Mohammedan vase that my Marie had. Aunt Marie has by Bridal. Uh, this is a. Uh, I think a cup in one, but I can actually zoom in. This is a watercolor my sister Mary has. This will have a story about here, we'll have a story about the peony vase, and we'll have a story about uh, this plate here. This is a plate which you can zoom in and see. I, now, now, now you can zoom in, I can have fun here. Uh, not that you're having fun, but I'm having fun. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go up here, let's see. You'll recognize this piece here, it's not marked this pattern here, but this piece is signed Rory. It was my Aunt Ruth had it. Uh, my Aunt Frances had this one. This is a poinsettia in luster, and uh, that has not survived to the best of my knowledge. Um, and uh, this is Frank, of course. You see him on the mantle. This my sister Lori has. Uh, that was a gift to them. Um, and I want to go over here and look at the picture because we'll all recognize this is the big base here, the deserted garden base, which I'll get to. And uh, yeah, I don't know where your punch bowl is. It'd be nice if they would have been nice. This is by Kufa. My sister Lori has this. Uh, this is by the Chalamar. It's a rose plate, which we'll see later. And this is obviously a Yashi pattern. Uh, and this is a picture of a bridge. Okay, and it's done in 1912, presumably a wedding gift. So. You know, at least you can see what happened to these things. So my sister has the deserted garden plate base, and this is the big thing, 16 inches, no Picard mark, because on the bottom it says to Susie, birthday 1915. So Joseph obviously gave it to his uh, daughter-in-law for her birthday. Um, this is the, the, the bridge, and this bridge here, there's a story behind this bridge, which most of you know, but this is by Arthur Cummings, and it's, um, <coughs> Arthur Cummings was an artist who was in New Bedford along with, with Joseph, and um, so one day I'm on eBay, and what do I see? I see this, and I said, hmm, I gotta get it, which I did, I paid a fortune for it, but, uh, Kathy, will, Kathy will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Russell's Mills Bridge, South Dart, and my mom ended up with that painting and it got ripped and I had to get it repaired, but South, so then of course he had to find a bridge. So we went down when was, my, my uh, son was, was in painting Boston. a wedding gift? The painting was dated 1912 and presumably a wedding gift because that's when they got married. Yeah, we're assuming that because, you know, but. Uh, and then here's, here's Truly and the bridge. So we found a bridge and there it is. 
Uh, it's an old stone historic bridge. And this is the plate, the Chaloner plate they got it for their wedding, presumably. I, I don't know if they got it. The, we got it for our wedding. The bridge wedding is in the vicinity of New Bedford. Right, 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 right. It's place. south of Russell. It is in, to be exact, the bridge is in South Dartmouth, Massachusetts. And then, of course, so Amel, <laughs> so Frank Ube had grandkids, and then we visited one of them, and he remembered his dad saying that, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember he used to go down there, you know, the decorators from, uh, Pier point because it was at the end of things we used to go down there for you know for yeah they had fun down there um, and then this one here is of course the peony vase so I've seen this pattern a couple of times in with the card marks but that is nicely done and uh, we got this vase that was uh, from my grandma it was broken originally <coughs> and, uh, we finally found somebody to get it repaired I won't go into the whole story well, you can well tell the story. basically so when we got married Harry brings over this little cardboard box with pieces of china, right? And it's like, Harry, why are we bringing this to our house? You know? He's like, oh, it was from my grandma. This is this piece she gave me. And I'm like, they're just broken pieces. Can we, you know, throw it out? And he's like, no, 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 no. So eventually we found somebody who will repair. And, you know, back then, little kids, no money. I'm like, we're spending how much? OK. But she did a beautiful job, as you can see. and. I will never doubt Harry again <laughs> when it comes to fixing a well. Not never, but. <laughs> you know, the way, the way into that is typically kids got the, uh, when they turned 16, they got a piece of China from Grandma and Grandpa, and uh, they realized that the girls, you know, like Mary and Lori got some. Lori got that picture from Kufal that, that I pointed out earlier. And, and I ended up uh, pieces. I ended up so he was growing up and I remember he says, Oh, you didn't get anything when you were sixteen. So then he went up, I remember grandpa going up in the attic and he pulled down the box. It was a first federal rose box. Every year we would give my grandma first federal rose for her garden. You know, you deposit like fifty bucks and you get a rose, you know. And uh, and it had these pieces and there was a little note, needs to be fixed. It was a wedding gift from Gaspers. So that was, you know, so that's <laughs> nice family stories here. And now we're there. Then the question arises: We Harry can ask you, how tall is that base? About 16 inches. It looks tall. Yeah, yeah, it's a big base. Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Yeah. And uh, and then uh, so that question is: Is there anybody else who is artistically inclined? Because I certainly am. Um, and this is Mary Eschick. This is Frank's sister painting China. So she has. Um, and she did this, but she never worked for Picard. She never had a studio mark on hers. Uh, and I'm comfortable that she did any piece signed Mary Y or any piece signed Mary Pock, which was her married name. And I've come across both. This thing here was on eBay a while back. And um, you can see it's monogrammed. This was something that she painted for her son, Carl, and her daughter-in-law, Gertrude. That's an inkwell. And, uh, I decided to buy it because uh, now, now we've, you know, the, the, the initial stand for Carrie and Greg, that's our son and his wife, so, and they're both writers, so you got me well, so if they ever get into uh, the old style of writing, that's what they're, they're, they're set. Uh, this is another example, and on the bottom it says uh, uh, to Carl, and it has his birthday, you know, one of his birthdays, and this is another birthday piece. So she was quite an accomplished thing. But Carl, Carl was her son, yeah. Carl, no, no, Carl was her husband. This, oh, this Carl was her husband. The one with the mammogram was her son because there was a Carl Jr. Mm -hmm. um, then, in terms of the other ones, this will sort of harken back to those who saw Pat and Buddy's collection in, uh, in Itasca. So everybody was looking at the China, but they didn't look at the other stuff. Um, well, maybe they did. This is Joseph's. This is the one my grandma wrote to. This is Joseph's sister, Caroline Yeshik, and her daughters, I think it was Marie and Elizabeth, and they had a son, Joseph Link, and uh, this is her husband. I think this is Maria's husband, and uh, her married name was Mueller. Elizabeth's name was Mueller. She and, and I mean, they were both Mueller's until they married, and this was uh, Link, Joseph Link. They had this trial. They stayed in the Czech Republic, needless to say, did not fare well. This uh, Joseph, he died in World War II, so that was one. And uh, 
there's all kinds of cool correspondence that people are interested in the World War II. You know, they were occupied by Russia and they were dealing. So the, uh, mom, good old sister, stayed in uh, Bohemia until she died in the 1950s. Elizabeth, uh, after the war, moved to Germany. And Maria stayed with her mom to take care of her mom. Uh, this is Elizabeth married somebody. Uh, this is Elizabeth before she got married. Elizabeth Mueller, she did some stitch work. This is, and this was hanging in Piet, Piet, Piet Larson's office when we were visiting. This was done by Joseph Lane. So before he got killed during World War II, he was doing artwork too. And this is another artwork uh, that Joseph Lane did. Let's see. Okay, now the other question is, well, did, did the Picard artists use other media? Well, this is something that my grandfather, Frank Gestrick, gave my, uh, my, uh, my grandmother when, before they got married. It was 1908. And uh, I got it as a gift for my graduation from medical school. This is quite large. Yeah, that's large. This is actually a postcard. They would send postcards. They'd paint them and send them to each other. To, and this is a postcard signed Frank on the bottom. And this is a postcard signed Yashik. I'm guessing this is Joseph um, of someplace. They would go up to Wisconsin, you know, and have fun up there. So, and this is a cottage. Um, this is another painting by Joseph Yeshik in the, the woods. Um, I think Mary has that. It was, you know, that was passed down to the family. And uh, finally, to sort of wrap things up, this is my mom. This is Joan Yeshik. And uh, it's nice to have a China painter in the family because you can, you know, so that's it. And after, after um, mom passed away, you know, everybody, when they start, you know, we get all these plates back. So I have a lot of plates now from that, that shower. That's for bridal shower. For a bridal shower, yeah, yeah. So all the relatives who are still around, you know. So, and that's it. Any questions about Joseph Yeshua or this definitive lecture about him? <laughs> or if I answered him, I could, you know, I could go in here and look for censuses and uh, old directories and draft cards, but you know, whatever. But that's where I. <laughs> okay. <laughs>